like, wow, I mean, y'all have said a lot of things that I'm going to have to reflect on around. That's what Thank you for inviting me. I have been to, this is like my third one that I've actually attended now, so I'm happy to participate. Usually, I don't um, speak places, but I'm trying to branch out from You can usually find me at Words of Lattes on Monday nights at 7.30 next to Garland's, where Paul Mello is our host and also our featured artist this Monday. Come out and check us out. So, that being said, we're going to kind of, I had already came, thought about um, three pieces that were more enlightening. So we're going to go with the first of those. This is called the have-nots. We look down on the have-nots for the haves have been made. But what goes up must come down. So looking down will only show you how far you have to fall. Why do people waste time on unimportant things? Have we been programmed so far from true life until we've made nonsense general conversation? The destruction of man can be heard every time we open our mouths to speak. We poison our minds and our bodies with convenience. We are victims of the fast life. Fast food, fast cars, fast education, and fast love. We have no time for time. McDonald's sells food that isn't even food. Cars contain pollutants used in chemical warfare, and a two-year degree can obtain a lifelong career. In seven DNA tests later, you are not the father makes a good ratings on TV programs. The jails are filled with uneducated, misinformed, selfish parents. The streets are filled with misguided, delusional, parentless children. Professionals are enslaved and feel proud to do master's will. Hmm. The church teaches prosperity when money doesn't exist. Long gone are the farmers for the earth suffers from pollutants. Machines so close, microwaves cook food. Text messaging is considered communication. Sex is considered busting a nut. Successfulness is measured in alphabets and bank accounts. Family time is when you can get your baby daddy to spend the night. We are too lazy to live. Hunting, fishing, and growing our own food is considered too much work. The grocery store is convenient. Artificial flavors are quick and easy. Who wants to walk or ride a bike? The cancer is tight and we put in the air every time we start our cars to make travel comfortable. All the, I'm so bored, seconds in the day yet we have no time to correspond through letters. The tumors in the brain that cell phones cause are the only way to talk. <laughs> Who has time to teach their kids to read? They just need to get old enough to get my life back. How don't you know they are your life? Our life expectancy has decreased because our conveniences have increased. Our material conversations are poison to our spiritual existence. The elements provide us with our survival. Where we eat supplies for home and heat, our entertainment. The earth is filled with works of art. Starfield skies, sunrises, sunsets, snow-capped mountains, desert plains, deep blue seas, wildflowers, and open fields. These are the important things. The earth we live on, the air we breathe, the water that replenishes us, the fire for we are told it will consume us, the spirit that moves us, our children for they will teach their children long after us, faith for it gives hope to us, and love for it blesses us. 